Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Since the rollout and the launch of Windows 11, there have been compatibility issues with uh, Windows 11 and Oracle's VirtualBox, which is virtualization software, which basically lets you run an operating system within your existing operating system. And uh, these compatibility issues were regarding errors with the Hyper-V or Windows Hypervisor uh, installed in Windows 11. Now, due to these errors and this issue, Microsoft rolled out and introduced a safeguard to block uh, users with VirtualBox installed on their device from upgrading to Windows 11. And I actually did post on this a couple of months ago. Now, apparently, uh, recently, Microsoft has lifted this block, which has been in place since October of uh, uh, last year. And apparently Oracle now has uh, been able to resolve the issue. And on the um, health page where they say compatibility issues have been found between Oracle VirtualBox and Windows 11, which was originally um, posted and opened on the 4th of October, um, where uh, Microsoft said um, in that original post, uh, to safeguard your upgrade experience, we have applied a compatibility hold on these devices from installing or being offered Windows 11, as mentioned. Now, the update, which was posted and resolved on the 11th of March this year, 2022, which was about three, four days ago. Um, yeah, we can see client Windows 11 version 21H2. Uh, it says uh, Oracle has resolved the issue in VirtualBox 6.1.28 and later to remove the safeguard hold on your device you will need to update to virtualbox 6.1.28 so if you do run virtualbox just make sure you have the latest version and they say please note if there are no other safeguards that affect your device it can take up to 48 hours before the update to windows 11 version 21h2 is offered and then at the bottom uh, they have a little message uh, um, that says um if you do not have VirtualBox installed but are receiving this safeguard hold, you might have an application that is based on VirtualBox or which has bundled VirtualBox within their installation. And if you have any applications that use or create VMs or system images, you might need to update or uninstall them to remove this uh, safeguard hold, which another uh, virtualization software could be uh, VMware. So just be aware that if you are running virtualization software and are unable to upgrade to Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.